Hey guys, I'm Media Bartle, it's Chris Tomer. Let's talk some mountain weather. And boy, do we have an active pattern shift for the West. Major snow totals in my forecast. Let me just show you what I'm thinking here. Bullet points, we've got two to three different storm systems that are going to ride not only the northern branch in, but also we're going to get some subtropical action. So this is a, this is a nice stretch. I mean, places like California that haven't seen much, they're going to get quite a bit out of this pattern. Um, and that actually goes for most of the West. Major accumulation with colder temperatures. We're going to stir up and generate some pretty good ratios out there. And, you know, overall for the Northeast, I just don't like what I'm seeing. There are two storm systems, but they're going to track so far to the North that most of the precip is going to be rain. Um, it'll flush those areas with the, the warm sector. There may be some snow on the backside of both of those storms, but it's just not a great pattern. Let me show you what I'm seeing here on the infrared. Well, it's a parade of storms. I mean, they're lined up all the way across, uh, you know, Western Pacific, and they're just riding the jet in on the northern branch. Now, the exciting thing is we're also going to involve the southern branch. You can see that area of low pressure that's kind of sitting there cut off from the northern branch, um, and that's going to play a role, especially in California's big snow production down the road. Um, so watching all of that, in fact, let me just show you how the timing of this might play out. Future radar and satellite, so let me walk you through this. On Monday morning, here comes the first of two storm systems. Look at that, snow dropping out of Wyoming, Utah, and through Colorado. Second storm, nail in the Pacific Northwest, BC, Banff, Northern Idaho. And look at this one, just take aim at California. That's a weak atmospheric river setup with that second storm system. So the first storm kind of misses, and I'll play this out, I'll play this out for you again. First storm largely misses California other than a brushing of light accumulation. So here comes the first one. Notice how it just kind of brushes Tahoe on its way through. First storm's not the one, that's not the big one for California. Here it comes right here. Watch this, the, the southern branch gets involved. We've got aura graphics plus a little bit of atmospheric river. That'll be a big one. And then that storm will move through the interior Intermountain West and drop a lot of snow. Even Sun Valley gets a lot of snow out of this second storm. You're going to get uh, hit in Utah again, the Tetons. Colorado will get snow out of this. Um, and then there's a third storm. You see the third storm sitting out over the uh, the Pacific. So this is a pretty active pattern. All right, let me take you into uh, jet setup here. So this is uh, the 28th. This is the first storm with this far north of a track. Again, it largely misses California, but it drops much colder air in through uh, parts of Montana, Idaho, Wyoming, Utah, and Colorado. In fact, this one will drop heavy snow accumulation through the Tetons, the Wasatch, and the central to northern mountains of Colorado. I really like the central to northern mountains of Colorado with this, this type of west-northwest orientation. Colder air, good ratios, good track for that area um, between Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Those will be the prime days. All right, here's the jet for the 4th of December. Powerful setup for California, west to east, or a graphic southern branch. You've got both jets uh, in on this, um, and it's just blowing precip through the interior. So um, all of the west will be in on this. All right, here's the third scenario. This is by the 6th, and this is a third storm, a third separate different storm system that'll be moving in, and this is the sixth, and it's gonna follow the same track as potentially some of the others, and this will bring its own load of cold air in. All right, let's talk about the Northeast. Again, my totals for that area all of today through the 24th are not big. Um, one to four inches, again, most of the precip comes down as rain with snow wrapping in on the backside. All right, so out west, 27th through the 29th. West and northwest orientation with most of the accumulation. Big numbers through parts of the Pacific Northwest. Look at the Tetons, look at the Wasatch, and look at the central and northern mountains of Colorado. Those are the bullseye areas throughout this period. Um, I really like those numbers in, in, in Colorado. I think the Wasatch could easily do a foot. Uh, the high side may be closer to 15, 16 inches for a little cottonwood. A Teton's uh, right in that range of one to two feet. All right, so here we go with phase number two, and this is where the big stuff really comes into California. The 30th through the 4th, um, two to three feet through uh, the Tahoe area down to Mammoth. Now, Shasta, you get 
all of the stone from storm two, but you're already getting influence from a third storm late in the period, four, five, six, that other storm I showed you. So that's why the numbers are so big through Shasta, Bachelor, Timberline, because you're already getting precip from that third storm system, and that includes Schweitzer. That's a big number there, Red Mountain and Fernie. Um, you're getting influence from a third storm very late in the period, four, five, six. So, you know, you're looking at a long time frame for a lot of this snow to accumulate, but the potential is there for pockets of very heavy snow, and that's the bottom line is, you know, with this type of setup, you could end up with pockets of very heavy snow. So another good snow for the Tetons in this time period. Um, little cottonwood should maximize things, another foot or more. And in Colorado, um, another probably 2 to 10 inches for most places. Um, Southern Mountains might be favored for that time period. Um, but yeah, this is a great pattern. I really like what I'm seeing, and there's going to be much colder air coming in. Um, so this is, should have a really good snow quality in Colorado, Utah, Wyoming, Idaho, and Montana out of this time period. All right, there we go. Thank you guys for tuning in here. I always appreciate it. Take care.